Revelation 3978, from the 16th of February 1947. State of Perfection, Fullness of Light and Power In the state of perfection there is no lack of strength and light, that is, every deed can be carried out and every knowledge is inherent in the being, thus it is neither limited in its power nor in its wisdom. And this means an activity according to God's will, because wisdom cannot acknowledge anything else than God's will and therefore uses the power according to its purpose. The abundance of strength and light is therefore the goal to strive for in eternity. Power and light emanate from God and abundance of power and light means closest unity with God, thus a godlike state, an alignment with his being, which is love in itself. And thus what is perfect must also carry deepest love within itself, love must first have shaped the being for the reception of light and power. The being can only possess divine power and profound knowledge in the state of love. And thus it follows that you humans cannot be introduced to the ultimate knowledge as long as you have not completely become love, that you will therefore never penetrate everything on earth which seems worth knowing to you, even though this is within the realm of possibility, which presupposes an extremely intimate bond with God and complete absorption in his will. But as long as the human being stays on earth the earth still keeps him bound, and God also takes this state into account in his love, always considering the human being with strength and light as it is physically and spiritually advantageous for him. For until a being is perfect it would misuse light and strength as soon as these exceed its degree of maturity. The human being would not know what to do with knowledge which exceeds his degree of maturity or would not use it in accordance with God's will, and thus it would not make him blissfully happy either, rather it would confuse his thoughts, but on the other hand he will receive enlightenment about which he desires enlightenment, for his desire for it is decisive as to whether God informs him through his spirit and his desire will always correspond to his activity of love and willingness. But there is also a knowledge which reveals things still completely hidden from the human being, there are wisdoms which reveal God's greatness and glory and which are reserved for the host of blessed spirits who dwell close to God, there is a knowledge which is infinitely gratifying and towards which all that is full of light strives which the intellect of men on earth is incapable of grasping, a knowledge which also requires an abundance of strength in order to be evaluated according to God's will. And thus it requires an exceedingly high degree of maturity which you humans hardly ever reach on earth. And thus your knowledge on earth depends on your soul's maturity and you must constantly strive to increase it in order to increase the influx of light and strength and you must know that you yourselves determine the knowledge which is offered to you, that there are certainly no limits from God but you yourselves set the limit which is the measure of your soul's perfection. Strive to become perfect and new areas will always be opened up to you, yet always in accordance with your earthly capacity, which you can constantly increase by shaping yourselves into love for love is the first prerequisite for receiving light and strength in all fullness. Amen.